Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to dual boot Windows 11 and Linux, and specifically Endeavor OS. This video is in four stages. Um, the first stage shows you how to create the Endeavor OS USB. The second stage shows you how to shrink a Windows partition so that you have space to install Endeavor OS. The third part is the installation itself. And the fourth part is clearing up any boot issues you may have after the installation. Let's start by creating the Endeavor OS USB drive. So to start, um, open a browser and search for Endeavor OS within Google or the search engine of your choice. Alternatively, just type EndeavorOS.com into your browser as shown on the screen. Click on the download and help menu option and then click on the latest release. Then scroll down the page until you get to the bottom where you can see the mirrors where you can download the ISO of Endeavor OS. Locate the location that's closest to you and then click on the download link under the ISO column. Whilst this is downloading, we can now download the piece of software um, required to burn the ISO image to a USB drive. Open another browser tab and in the address bar type sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash USB writer. When the USB writer screen appears, click on the download link. After 5 seconds, the download of the USB writer will begin. When the downloads are complete of both the ISO and the USB writer software, open Windows Explorer on your computer and navigate to the downloads folder, then double click on the USB writer icon. Click on the USB writer application and then select run. Make sure your USB drive is inserted at this point. Click the Browse icon and choose the ISO from the Downloads folder for Endeavor OS. Then select the target device and finally click Write. A message will appear telling you that all data on the target device will be wiped. Make sure you've selected the correct drive and that you haven't got any data on that drive that you aren't willing to lose. If you are happy to continue, click the Yes button and Endeavor OS will be written to the USB drive. When the process is complete, a message will appear telling you that the image has been successfully written to the target device. We will now move on to part two, which is to shrink the Windows partition to make space for Endeavor OS. Press the Windows Start button and type DISC MGMT and then click Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. As you can see, I have two disks, an SSD with 128 gigabytes and a terabyte standard hard drive. I'm going to do all of this on the SSD. Right click on the Windows C partition and then choose Shrink Volume. A window will appear showing you the maximum amount of space that you can shrink your Windows drive by. In this case, I'm going to change the value to 30 gigabytes by typing 30,000 into the box. Do not do more than the maximum amount available. You will now see the section of unallocated space on my SSD. This is where I will be writing Endeavor OS to. We will now move on to part three, which is to install Endeavor OS. Reboot your computer and press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. This differs from manufacturer to manufacturer, but you can search on Google for this. Select your USB drive, and then when the Endeavor menu appears, select the first option. When the welcome screen appears, click on Start the Installer. For the benefit of this tutorial, I'm going to choose the offline installer version of Endeavor OS, which gives you the XFCE desktop. Choose your installation language and then click Next. Choose your location on the map, click Next, and then choose your keyboard layout and click Next. For dual booting, we want to choose Grub as the bootloader, then click Next. To keep this simple, click on Replace a Partition and then choose the large area of blue space at the end of the disk. Note that the EFI system partition is pointing to Dev SDA1. Click Next. Enter your name, a username, give your computer a name and then choose a password and repeat it. You can choose to log in automatically and you can choose to use the same password for the administrator account if you want to. Click Next when you are finished. A summary screen will appear showing you what's going to happen. This is your last chance to cancel before Endeavor OS is installed into the partition that you have chosen. If you are happy to continue, click Install Now. 
The Endeavor OS installation will now begin and start copying the files to the partition you have selected. When the installation is complete, you can reboot your computer and remove the USB drive. In the fourth and final part, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the bootloader so that you can boot between Windows and Endeavor OS. If when you reboot your computer, it boots straight into Windows, then there are a couple of things that might be blocking Endeavor OS from loading. Reboot your computer and press the relevant function key to get into the UEFI boot settings screen. The system settings screen changes between each manufacturer, but you're looking for the security tab and then you're looking for secure boot and what you want to do is disable it. Now move along to the boot menu and then scroll down until you get to the UEFI hard disk drive priority screen or something similar for your manufacturer's UEFI settings screen. As you can see, my boot options are already in the correct order. So I have Endeavor OS first and then Windows Boot Manager second. I can switch the order by pressing enter on the boot option and then choosing the operating system I want in that position. Ultimately, you want Endeavor OS to be the first option and Windows to be the second option. When you have finished, press escape and move to the save and exit menu and then choose the save changes and exit option. You should now see the Grub menu with Endeavor OS as the first option and at the bottom you'll see Windows Boot Manager for Windows. Choosing Endeavor OS will give you Endeavor and choosing Windows Boot Manager will let you boot into Windows. Now every time you boot your computer you will see this menu. And that is the end of the video. If you like the video click the thumbs up button and please subscribe for more content from Everyday Linux User. Coming up I've got a few bonus videos to do with uh, uh, UEFI settings and bootloader settings. So continue watching and I'll see you next time.